Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Super Geek, and today I have a really unique app for you guys. It's called VMOS and what it does is that it lets you run an Android emulation inside your Android smartphone. I really don't know how this app is going to help you, but it feels really cool to run an Android OS on your Android smartphone. Stay tuned. So the app is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is install VMOS from Google Play Store and launch it from your app drawer. The app doesn't need any setup or something. It just directly launch your virtual machine. For the first boot, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes, but I've already set it up. So it booted up pretty quickly on my phone. So as you can see, the Android OS is pretty basic, uh, nothing installed. I've installed the Udivanced app. So there is Play Store already installed. You can set it up there. There are settings. These settings are from the virtual machine. You can change the resolution. You can use it as a floating window or you can use virtual buttons or remove that. You can go to system settings. The system settings are pretty basic. The, it is the stock Android 5.0 Lollipop OS. So we can go to about phone and as you can see, we're running the stock Android 5.1 Lollipop. See? Now, the virtual buttons run, the virtual buttons work exactly like in any Android smartphone. There's an app drawer and everything works exactly similar widgets there are widgets there are wallpapers you can add more or do something what you want to do so after that there is this floating button where all the settings resides so you can return you can minimize you can go to task as you can see if this is the task view you can close those this is the normal task view there is nothing new you can go there by this button of course now there is Notifications, notification pull down, nothing new. See the stock Android 5.0 notifications. There is this resolution and there is this minimize thing which minimize the OS. There's no need to uh, close the app every time you have to go back to your smartphone. Just tap this and you're in the pop up view. I like this pop-up view thing because now you don't have to go into the app every time you want to do something in your virtual machine then you have to come back to do something in your stock Android smartphone so you can pin this or pin this you can again minimize that or pop up you can go to landscape view which is pretty basic this is a landscape oh, I didn't know. it's not working all right all you have to do is minimize this app pop up and you're in the pop up view i don't think okay you can mute the virtual machine from there but you cannot control the machine in the pop up view you can just look at what's happening you cannot control the machine yes you can control the machine first you have to pin this thing then you can control the machine if you're unpinning this you can just drag and drop your virtual machine window so I'm going to pin this and so as you can see you can use your virtual machine just like uh, just like a regular Android smartphone so I really don't know why this app exists what is the purpose of this app why you wanna run an Android OS on your Android smartphone so there you go guys now you can run an Android OS inside your Android OS if you want to do that for, for any particular reason. So that's it for now guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.